Are you struggling with uh, testing up billing in Android? Uh, this video will help you debug some common issues, solve some common issues. As you know, uh, testing up billing is a crucial step before going to production. And today I'll show you how to configure your emulator and play developer console to test subscription purchases for your app. So when you click on your plan, you should preferably see this option, test card always approves. This is specific to the Google Play console. You probably want to go from this and this to something like this. If you configure the everything correctly, uh, when you click on the subscription to buy a subscription you should not see a pop-up to add a new card you should see this option test card always approves first thing you might notice if you configured everything correctly is that the period for billing is five minutes this is not actually five minutes i configured it to be a monthly and it is specific to play test orders you might say this is a hard-coded value and if you go to the documentation for play billing test you will see that if you configure for one month five minutes is expected and then 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes it is just to make testing renewal times like so I recently started playing with React Native Purchases, which is a client by Revenue Cat, and I recommend this platform because it makes integration of billing uh, so much easier. And I'm still at the testing phase on the emulator. I haven't uh, really tried this on production. I will do, uh, do it soon. But uh, this video is not about the actual implementation. I might uh, make a talk about it and with demo code uh, in some of my next videos. This video is just to show you what you need to configure, what you might have missed when you wanted to test subscription in your app for Android. In any case, before I make an instructional video, if you go to React Native Purchases on GitHub, there are examples, and this is a good starting point. I'm not sure if all of the code is... Uh, I think some of it is outdated, but it's easy. It's very easy to follow. It hasn't changed that much, the actual implementation. So on to the testing configuration. I suggest you read this entire document on test your Google Play billing library integration. And next stop would be uh, to be able to test your app, you need to publish your app and uh, set it to the closed track. It doesn't matter which version, you just need to update one version. It would be for testing, but what you're actually going to do is test your app, Expo Go app, so real time, that's not published. Uh, the actual app right here on the left screen, it is run by Expo Go and this is my real-time application. First step for testing, for configuring your testing is go to your Google Play Console, Settings, License Testing, and you need to choose License Testers from the email list. If you don't have an email list, create an email list. One important step, check that this is configured. It will not work if you add your email list and if it is not checked. That was my first mistake. I know, maybe it's intuitive, but it was not intuitive to me. Next stop, to get your test card always approves. This is the default option, respond normally. Okay? But when you'll be testing, I think you'll want to check all of this other uh, response codes. Next step is when you choose your app, you need to have one version updated to the closed testing. I don't know why, because you won't be testing that exact version, but it is required. What I'm testing on the left screen over here is the Expo Go work in progress real time app. 
Next thing that you want to make sure is that you, if you're testing on emulator, like I'm right here, you need to create an emulator with the apps Play Store enabled, installed. And that is not enough. You also need to be logged in to the Play Store. I created a testing Gmail account. It needs to be a Gmail account and logged into the Play Store. Okay. Next thing that I suggest you do, if you just uh, updated those changes in the license and just created your plans, is to clear Play Store cache and storage. So in any case, if you get, uh, if you don't get what you expect, the test card, the problem, the usual problem is in the Play Store storage and cache. So what you would do is go to settings. Choose apps. Choose Google Play Store. Go to storage and cache and clear both storage and cache. Okay. Then return to your app. Now, if you have followed my instructions and have configured everything correctly, when you click on your plan, you should see a pop up that contains test card always approves because your uh, logged in user to the Play Store is also added to the license testers. And since you enable the notion, since you enable the notion that the car purchase should be successful, the purchase is successful. If you need to change uh, and test the different scenarios, you will go to license testers and change the response code for the purchase. Okay, this video covers the basic setup and the workflow for testing subscriptions on the emulator on Android. If you want a tutorial on how to implement Revenue Cat, uh, I'll create one in one of the, I'll definitely create one in one of the following videos, so stay tuned and subscribe. Bye.